Beautiful. Shalom, shalom, family. We have a timely lesson. Uh, as we always say, brothers and sisters, please have your, your pen and pads handy. Uh, if there's any questions uh, that one may have at the end of uh, the Sabbath lesson, you know, you can, you know, unmute your phone and ask those questions, brothers and sisters, while we have the time. Okay? We, we, are, we are, you know, once again, we are in a time of remembrance, brothers and sisters. Everything that you're hearing and, you, and, and, and the Father is allowing you to hear from the elders, we are in a time of remembrance, brothers and sisters, that, that, that you know, we, we are they who, who, who the Father is sending in this hour, brothers and sisters, to, to just simply say, consider. See? Because everything that's meant to be understood is clearly understood within everyone's vessel, brothers and sisters. That's why when we, you know, when you looked at the title, taking the Father's name in vain, you see? And, and what have we been learning, brothers and sisters? A name is a reputation, see? And we're going to show you that what we have always been taken had nothing to do with what one has uttered out of their mouth. But everything that we've took for granted was what? What flows through our vessels, the breath of life. We've been taking the, the father's reputation, the head of all existence. See, everything, everything that has to do with life in vain. You ask a brother or sister, you know, why were you created? What was the purpose of one's birth? See? So this world will teach you, brothers and sisters, that, hey, yeah, you know, celebrate a birthday. You see? But, but, but what is the measuring stick, brothers and sisters, that we are using when we talk about celebrating one's birth? See? And not, and not what? You know? serving or, or, or having understanding of honor according to knowledge, brothers and sisters. And if we are not looking at this from the Father's lens, brothers and sisters, listen, we are operating in a reputation or a spirit that we are calling something good that's evil, see? And this is what we all have to, 
you know, sit within this hour, brothers and sisters. What was our purpose of creation? You're going to see that in, in understanding this reputation, we are, you will understand the Father. <laughs> you will understand the power you were created in. See, there's no, there's no need to, sell a, to, to, to put a birth date or a number on existence, brothers and sisters. How can you measure existence? If your power, you see, the, 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 the Father's name, his reputation is the head of all existence, that which exists in dark and light. See, he's the head of it all. Well, you are a child of existence. How can you number that? How, what number is existence? And the reason that we put this out here, brothers and sisters, is because many people may have a desire, but the desire, brothers and sisters, is not according, according to knowledge. See? So what the father does is knowing that the whole earth is perfected in evil, he sends what has always done this. The ministers in that last hour to say, consider. You, are, you already know what you've been doing. You, you already know what comes from celebrating a birthday. Understand what's in the wisdom of eternal life. And you will see, you can't number that. You're forever young. You're forever youthful. See? And there's no need of any form of self-worship. See? Because if I celebrate you, I got to celebrate the whole creation. Mm. Because <laughs> the whole creation represents existence. He that has the ear, let him hear. Right? That means every day the Father gives breath is one's e existence. You can't measure that according to a day, according to time. Time was only subjected for, for sin, brothers and sisters. That's the only thing that's numbered. But from the beginning, the Father created us to be eternal. See? So, so what darkness is trying to do, because darkness is, is subjected to time, is trying to bound what? The Father's image, his creation to time. So many people don't know that when we are celebrating these birthdays, brothers and sisters, we have totally forgotten, you see, we have totally forgotten the name of the reputation we are supposed to come in. Stay. Without a brother or sister saying it, the myth fact that you are observing, you know, what, what we all call birthdays. And brothers and sisters, we are speaking from a place that we, the father had to subject us to the darkness. Ah. So we, we are coming as one of our own brethren, sister. So when you hear the minister, you are hearing relatability. We, we, we know the, the the feeling that comes from it. See? But the scriptures what the father the father is you know is showing forth that what get wisdom but in all thy getting gain understanding. Do you understand why you're doing it? Or, or you're just doing it for a feeling. See? And if we understood why we are doing it, you are understood. Oh wait, hold on. This is attributed to darkness. Because there's no need for me to number or measure eternal life. See? And that's the gift that the Father is bringing to us all in this hour. But we must first go back to the beginning. See? This is why we, this is why we can't overlook the commandments. See? We got to go back to the beginning because most people have forgotten how they were created. See? If, if, if you are able to number yourself, you are created in the image and the likeness of the head of all existence. How old is the father? We'll wait. What measuring stick do we use for that? Because the scriptures tell you that the angels worship him day, day and night. Well, there, there is no night in heaven. But according to us, when we are asleep, the angels are still worshiping the head of all existence. <laughs> See? He that has an ear, let him hear. Okay? We are in a time of remembrance, brothers and sisters. You, ego is always going to allow our brother and sisters to have whatever excuse they want. E, check it out. Ego will give you the excuse to make you sound right. Mm, uh -huh. Right? It's going to always give you, well, you know, I don't do it for that. I know every day is a birthday. Mm. The Lord knows my heart. 
See, and we're going to deal with that even in, in tonight's lesson, brothers and sisters, because that's not going to be an excuse in a little in a little while. The saying that phrase, which is attributed also from, uh, you know, was taught by demons that the Lord knows your heart. Yes, the Lord does know our heart. The heart is wicked and deceitful. Who can know it? So it has to be governed. See? But, but time is running out even on phrases like that. Brothers and sisters, because what? We are now coming in a time of remembrance of knowing that you can't no longer you know, use phrases like the Lord knows my heart. Mm -hmm. What do you represent? What's your name? See? What's your reputation hey because you you know whatever whatever we saying out of our mouth is going to show that really when we say that we're, we're just doing this thou will we're just doing whatever makes us feel good see see but that shall be a judgment on that brothers and sisters and we are in the time to bring bring brothers and sisters back into <laughs> remembrance see and we're gonna get through this thing together he that has an ear, let him hear. All right, elder. Let's go on ahead. We're gonna open up in prayer. Uh, I have my my my. Uh, we also have Elder Shema here, my elder. Uh, we, I made him out. Of we made him cold. Let me make sure. Yeah, sure. Make cold. All right. Let's make sure. All right. Shalom, shalom, my elder. How you doing? Existing. How y'all doing over there? Oh, bless you. Bless, bless you. bless you. Bless you, Elder. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna go right in, Elder. Uh, and I'm gonna pass it, I'm gonna pass it to you. Uh there's something that you know I just want to bring forth. And uh and elder, you know, I, I'll segue it uh straight to you, my elder. Okay, go ahead. Yes, sir. Ask that all heads bow hearts open. Everyone pause for a moment of breath. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. So be it. All right. Brothers and sisters, this is something for us all, you know, when 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 the father is giving us the understanding that 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 you know we are taking that moment for breath see our breathing is to show us brothers and sisters where where it is we come from see when and and and, and to prove this check it out to prove this you see all of uh, everything that the elders are saying in this hour is clearly seen in death because because what do we quantify right or what what do we know without a shadow of a doubt what we call death how, how do we confirm that do we confirm it when somebody's body isn't here no you confirm it by when when the breath leaves out of a, a brother or a sister to let you know that you were never the body because the body can still be laying there. Mm -hmm. But when the breath of life leaves you, oh, this brother or sister isn't no longer with us. See? In, in, a, in a worldly term, they'll say he, he or she coded. Mm -hmm. See, and, and, and we, never, we never sit back in the wisdom of the father and say, you know, what are these codes? Well, they say that he or she coded. What are these? What is the righteous codes of the Father? His laws, statutes, and commandments, brothers and sisters. It's a blueprint. It's who we are. See, you, you, it, a law isn't something that you read. It, you actually have to perform it. Mm -hmm. See, you don't read. Stop at a red light. Stop at a stop sign. No, you have to perform. You stopping. If not. If there's a cop who's doing his job to give you a ticket for running it, see, you can't say, well, I know it, I, I read that it was a stop sign. No, you had to perform the stopping, brothers and sisters, uh -huh. or you will be ticketed. See, you will have to go to what? Court. 
and this is what we are telling you. The ministers are all, 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 the, all the, the law enforcement, if you want to say, to say, hey, brothers and sisters, it is just a warning. See, but everything that we are saying well, we, that we are saying and we are bringing out, understand that when you go before the judge, you can't use the excuse, the excuse you never knew. You won't be able to use the excuse, the Lord knows my heart. See, before the head of all existence, because he's going to say, well, hey, I knew you was going to say that. So I sent my ministers to let you know that, listen, I know that your heart is wicked and deceitful. So here's the reputation that you must come in to govern that. See? All right. Let's get it, my elder. Get from me Malachi, the first chapter. Okay. Pay attention, brothers and sisters. Get for me, my elder, Malachi, the first chapter. Start around the sixth verse for me, elder. Yes, sir. Pay attention. The book of Malachi, chapter one, verse number six. A son honoreth his father. Read it again. A son honoreth his father, and a servant his master. If then I be a father, where is mine honor? So this is a question, see, given first unto the people responsible for following the law. See? Why? We must understand that when we follow, whatever we follow, we become. So this is the, this is the wisdom that the Father is going to use to show forth his glory in all of the earth. Who's coming in my name? Who's coming, you know, who's showing forth my honor? You see? Come on, my elder. Yes, sir. Verse 6. A son honoreth his father and a servant his master. If then I be a father, where is mine honor? And if I be a master, where is my fear? Said the Most High of hosts unto you. O priest that despise my name. Read it again. Said the Most High, the head of all existence, hosts unto you. O priest that despise my name. Come on. And ye say, wherein have we despised thy name? See, and this is why the Father has given us wisdom, brothers and sisters, that everything that we are seeing now, that people will have the excuse, well, how are we despising your name? We, we go to church on Sunday. We tell people how good, how the goodness of the Lord. How have we despised, our, despised thy name? You see? Go ahead. Verse 7. Ye offered polluted bread upon mine altar, and ye say, wherein have we polluted thee? So we're not understanding that when we don't have understanding of the Sabbaths, brothers and sisters, say the day of rest, which we are going to bring out in, 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 in these, what, third and fourth laws, you're going to see that the Sabbath, the, the seven day, brothers and sisters, puts you on a, 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 traje a trajectory to honoring all the Sabbaths, i.e. holy days, all right? But if, but if I'm using a profane day, breaking bread with brothers and sisters, well, you're gonna, you, you, you have to understand because of law, you know, if you're observing profane days, it's gonna put you on a trajectory to honoring profane what? Holidays. See, so what the what the head of all existence has given us was holy days, Passover, Purim, tabernacles, see, dedication, feast of dedication. You see, these holy days, brothers and sisters, is totally different from the nothingness of holidays because you know most. Most people have no reason or, or the only reason that they'll give you for celebrating a holiday is so that family can come together. Most people still have mm -hmm. issues going on in the family that nobody's talking about, but still want to come in to show forth the reputation mm -hmm. of what the father is saying, still breaking bread with each other and not understanding that the scriptures say before you break bread with your brother, you and him must talk. Mm -hmm. Come on. See? Before you break bread with your brother, you and him must talk. You and her must talk and get things what? Hashed out. See? So when we do the father, we also do with our brothers and sisters. 
See, so since we don't see that we're polluting the father's bread, well, I feel I can just go ahead and eat with a person, even even though I got heresy. Soon as they leave, I'm on the phone, you know, with another sister, mm -hmm. brother. You know what I'm saying? And you saw you saw can her you come up in there. She came in here? You came. You see, I knew she was gonna come. It's like, yo, that that's heresy. That's gossip. Time. That's a that if we understood law, that's sin, brothers and sisters. See. We 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 are we are you know forgetting you see that that before you look outside of you you should look within yourself see because if we understood name we understood reputation instead of talking about a brother or a sister hey why don't you come in the fullness of the reputation and show forth what it means to be upright see so the same way you are behind the back talking about a brother or a sister and they're walking in, you know, giving you something to talk about, brothers and sisters, it's the, it's the pot caught in the kettle black. And, and both sit on fire. Both, both without understanding sit, sit in the seat of judgment. See? Uh, uh, sit, sit, actually sit and stand before judgment. Forgive me. See? Both, both are what? Condemning one another. Uh -huh. See, <laughs> because if our judgment was true, brothers and sisters, you you should be able to show forth what, not just the darkness that a brother or sister is doing, but come in the reputation of the light that should be the example that they should follow. See. Because the Father's name, our Lord and Savior, that word is salvation. See? And, you, and we have all been fashioned in the likeness of salvation, brothers and sisters. This is what our Lord and Savior came to show us. I'm the word made flesh. Follow me and you too will become the word made flesh. You, you're supposed to be a savior to a brother or a sister. This is why we are bringing brothers and sisters in a time of remembrance. Brothers and sisters, the minister's speech is going to become harder and harder to bear. You see, because the father has confirmed that we are in a time of remembrance. So many people are are. are you know, in, in, in that in that motion of turning back into repentance, many people, many people have are too far too far gone out the way, brothers and sisters. So this is why the father says, He that has an ear, let them hear. And the hope that that brother or sister will need is you coming forth in the father's name, his reputation. Not what you are telling a brother, not what you are saying to a brother. What are you doing? Actions speak louder than what? Words. See? Come on, my elder. Go ahead. Finish reading. Yes, sir. Verse 7. Ye offered polluted bread upon mine altar, and ye say, wherein have we polluted thee? And that ye say, the table of the Most High is contemptible. And if ye offer the blind for sacrifice, is it not evil? And if ye offer the lame and sick, is it not evil? Offer it now unto thy governor. Will he be pleased with thee hmm. or accept thy person? Said the most high, the head of all existence. Verse 9. So, 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 hey, you know, to, to let you know, obedience is greater than sacrifice. See, so the greatest sacrifice that any man can give is them what? Showing forth that they are honoring. The head of all existence. They're honoring the reputation that they come in being the breath of life. See, in, in a world that is that is that is suffocating and taking life, telling you to mask up, take totally dis detaching brothers and sisters from the breath. And many of us are, are, are in the fullness of obliging, see, in the fullness of you know understanding, but not a right. See, it's like, yo, you know, 
how can I take away what I am? How, 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 how are you telling me to cover up what I am? Uh -huh. See, and this is why all of nature stay the same. <laughs> all of nature say, hey, see, if, if they would just look around, what mask did we have to wear? Does not the same breath flow through us? Being part of existence? He that has an ear, let him hear. See? So that's why the father is telling him what? You know what? Since you don't understand my name, if you think it's just something that you can just say, you know, I'm holding on to the, to the, to the, to the, to the strong arm of the Lord. If, that, if you feel that that's something that you can just say and not perform, you, you must show forth that performance of trust. Go to the governor. Go to the one that, that, that you look at as, as honorable and just call them by name and see if you can just get them at how you, how you please. You, you must come in the reputation of something that they recognize, brother and sister. We must come in the fullness of the reputation that if you go to the governor, you better have your pass code. You better have your badge in order. See? You better know somebody. See? You have to come in the reputation. See? See if they'll take you. If, if you don't feel you have to follow nothing with me, if you don't have to, the Lord is like, if you don't think you have to come in my reputation, okay, let me break this down to a level that you will understand. Go and try to just walk up to the governor. Have a meeting with the governor. And see if you don't have to come with a form of reputation or, 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 or or be given what? That power of authority. See? That's going to come with a form of law. Okay, go ahead. Verse 9. And now I pray you, beseech the head of all existence, that he will be gracious unto us. This has been by your means. Will he regard your persons? Said the head of all existence. So it's not going to matter that the Lord know my heart. He, he's... He, the, the father is not sensitive to that, how men mm. may be de deceptively sensitive to that. Uh. The Lord knows your heart. Yes, he does. No, no, we are here to tell you that the heart is wicked and deceitful. So you must understand what it is that he that he that he loves and, and, and put on the, 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 the performance and the and the, the glory of it. Because it's who you are. There's not nothing you have to try to do. This is what you're going to come when, when we truly follow our Lord and Savior. You're going to see that everything that the Father has created you to be is who you are. Everything that He gave us in law is who you are. I don't have to try to honor the head of all existence when I know that I'm honored. I am honored. See? So, so what I give to my Father, I also give to thy brethren, thy sister. I give it to the whole creation. See? Come on. Verse 10. Who is there even among you that would shut the doors for naught? Neither do ye kindle fire on mine altar for naught. I have no pleasure in you, said the head of all existence. Neither will I accept an offering at your hand. For from the rising of the sun, even unto the going down of the same, my name shall be great among the Gentiles. And in every place, incense shall be offered unto my name, and a pure offering. For my name shall be great among the heathen, said the Most High, the head of all existence. My name shall be great. Put that, put that intro back up for my audience here. What is the understanding that the Father is giving us in, 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 in this last hour? See, because as the labor pains increase in the earth, you're going to see that what? As the labor pains increase, the wisdom, the understanding of, of how to be right is going to also increase. See? So his name shall be what? Proclaimed amongst the Gentiles and the heathen. What's going to be proclaimed? His reputation. See? Your name is who you are. See? When, when people knew you according to a parent, 
Aren't you Barber's son? Mm -hmm. See? Aren't you, aren't you Timothy's son? Aren't you Oscar's son? See? Why? Because they knew Oscar from a reputation. So, so, so brothers and sisters knew how to what? Not, not even deal with certain households. They'll say, hold on, what that last name was? Mm -hmm. Hey, man, don't go deal with nobody in that family. Okay, what's that last name? Oh, okay, that's, that, that's Shirley's. Beautiful family. This is how people, just, they describe you with what? You see, they describe you with, with spiritual reputation. See, when somebody say, and, and this is why we must listen to the breath. When someone says beautiful family, how, how, you, that ain't nothing that you can give somebody. When I, when I say give, brothers and sisters, you can't, you can't give a, cut it. We always say this, but we have to keep you in remembrance of it. You can't cut beautiful and say, here it is. Mm. People know that you are beautiful by the way you live. They know that you are beautiful by your what? Reputation. Say. So this is also how the father will be proclaimed how they'll know that he's the head of all existence by his reputation, okay? And with that, I yield my elder. Shalom, elder, how you doing? Yes, sir, yes, sir, breathing. Uh, completely understood and understanding that there is no more representing your own self. We must be the representation and the reputation of the almighty in this hour, all right? So anytime you come in yourself, you have been deceived to take the father's reputation in vain, representing who you think you are. When according to truth, we are nothingness but dirt. All right. So it, it, it's time to understand through the breath, you are more than that dirt. You're the seed of the almighty. So, all right, y'all. This is the anointing, the understanding of pure love. All right. This is the understanding of pure love and the truth of perfect righteousness, which means that outside of who you think you are, the father's calling us in his reputation to be pure love, to be the truth and to be what? Complete righteousness, because that that's his reputation. We are all gathered here today within the power of salvation to receive eternal wisdom concerning the Ten Commandments. Understand that commandments are arrangements of order. Last week, the Almighty guided us in understanding of the first and second commandments. Today, we will receive understanding of the third and fourth commandments. Remember that all 10 commandments are all one whole. You got the one and the zero, all right? So remember that all 10 commandments are all one whole commandment. One and zero is one whole. So by the Almighty giving us strength to trust and obey these Ten Commandments, it is the power of wisdom that keeps us in understanding that we are all one as a whole because the Almighty, our power, is one existence. Let's start off this lesson with the Shammai, Hero Israel. We're going to do the running man, six, four to five. I'll read this with my elder. Yes, sir. Let's get really strong if you can. Uh, God, yes, sir. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all ready? All right, now, hear, O Israel, Deuteronomy 6, 4 and 5, this is verse 4. Hear, O Israel, it says the Lord right there, we not subject to under no lords, we one with the Almighty, all right? Now, we subject to the Lord's salvation, but we are salvation also. So we, we're subject to who we are completely in our power. All right, so hear, O Israel, the head of all existence, our power is one existence. And thou, verse five, 
and thou must love the head of all existence, your power, with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your might. All right, Elder, you wanted to go to the God rules or anything you want to click on, anything like that, beloved? Uh, yes, bless you for that. Bless you for that, my Elder, because uh, when we talk about that reputation, when we say it here, Jay, we, we, we must understand that how the father is actually setting this up in salvation. Because when we talk about Christ, the anointing, right? We're talking about a body. Have we always say it's, you know, for, 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 for brothers and sisters, what are we learning here? Is Christ singular or plural? See? Is, is the anointing singular or plural? You see, Christ is a body. Same way you must understand this on the darkness, which is Satan. You see, Satan is not singular. It's pl he's plural. The, the powers that come underneath that government, principalities, plural, brothers and sisters. And the, we have to say this because even hearing the elders, right? We must know that in this hour, through our hearing, whom it is that's speaking. See, the days are over that you're just going with the flow, just listening. Nah, you must prove whom it is. As it says in 1 Thessalonians, the, the uh, fifth chapter, prove all things. Listen, we are the ministers telling you no longer just sitting anywhere. Okay? Just listening. No, you must prove. And this is why we say, ask your questions. Don't, you, you're not as off as you think. See, most people have questions that the world might call crazy. But you, you'll be surprised how, guess what? A lot of these questions, you probably can't even do on Sunday worship. Okay. See? So let's get that word real quick for here. See? Hebrew Strong's number 80, 85, pronounce Shema. Shema. See? So the ministers of the Father come in this reputation to aid brothers and sisters in properly hearing brothers and sisters. There's a deafness that has, the spirit of deafness that has come past the whole earth, that most people can't hear what's right. See, so the mere fact that most people, though they have hearing, they don't hear according to what? The breath. See? Because you have hearing, but read, a primitive root to hear intelligently. Do you hear intelligently? See? We speak, we speak words, but don't truly hear what it is. And that's why we brought it out. To, you know, many people have heard that phrase. That's a beautiful family. See? But never really discover the mystery in what we are calling beautiful. Because beautiful, which is a, is a heavenly attribute, see, is understood through motion. Everything that's spiritual has to be understood through what? Oper operating in it. You can't, you can't just hand it over to somebody. See, you have to show forth all things. See, that's, that's the beautiful thing of the Father's laws and how he has governed creation. Everything must become a word made flesh. Everything in the, in the Father's creation. So if you use the word beautiful, you use the word good, you use the word righteous, you have to, put, you have to show forth that reputation. See, go ahead. Often with implication of attention, obedience, causatively to tell, attentively call, gather together, carefully, certainly, consent, consider. Be content, declare, diligently, discern, give ear. Cause to, let, make to. Hear, tell, indeed, listen. Make a noise, be obedient. So th the reason that we have to go into this, now let's go back, my elder. Yes, sir. The reason we have to go to this, you see, and, and, and we, are, we are breaking this down to a greater understanding so that we can, we can now see that what we are reading has a reputation. When you have to, when you hear, you have to desire to hear or listen intelligently. 
So if I'm hearing something just to go with the flow, that's off, brothers and sisters. It, it, it's like the Ethiopian, the Ethiopian eunuch in, in the book of Acts who was, who was reading the Holy Scriptures, you see? And, and Philip came to him and said, what? Does thou know, you know, what it is that you are reading? And he said, you know, how can I, how can one know unless he's guided, brothers and sisters? So the father sends guides, but everything that you hear from the elders and the ministers is, is clearly seen within you. It's not, we're not saying something that's hard to utter or hard to, or hard to understand, rather. Everything that you are hearing, even in this hour, is clearly understood already in your vessel. You see? And I just wanted to bring that out, my elder, that, that the reputations is, is what we must hold dear in our heart, that, that we must now put, put, on, put, put that working, you see, within our vessel that becomes a way of life. And then you clearly will see it was who you were all along. See? Go ahead, my elder. Yes, sir. So when it say here, give attention and obey, O Israel, the head of all existence, our power is one existence, meaning don't follow anything that would distract your mind from understanding that all of existence is one. In your mind, you must always see and understand and hear that whatever you're doing, it keeps you in operation that all of existence is one existence. You see, any time that there's more than one, then something is deceiving you because you're not, we're, not, we're not hearing, we're not being obedient. All right, and it says, verse five, and thou must, it's not an option. And mm -hmm. it says shout right there. So even right there, you can't just read these scriptures. You gotta hear. It's a reason why the fathers have me say must because of some tell you, know, I, 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 it say I shout, I got a choice. That's, that's some playing with your mind. I shout or I shall not love the head of all. You must love the head of all of existence, your power with all your heart, and with all your soul and with all your might. You must do that, all right? So this is the one and only commandment. All other commandments are completely one with the first commandment, which is you cannot have no other powers before me. Why? Because the head of all existence is the only power there is. Everything and everyone that exists is the existence of the one true power whom is the head of all existence. All other powers are false and deceptive powers temporarily deceiving the minds of men to cause opposition in the earth, all right? Now understand, again, let it be sealed in your mind the term reputation. Anything given a name means that it has a reputation about it. Even when it comes to numbers, numbers have a reputation. Because we are addressing the Ten Commandments, remember that they are given in a sequence of order, a sequence of order, first, second, third commandment, fourth commandment, etc. So write this down. The number one, as in the number one commandment means only. The number one means only, it means first, it means last, and it means all. The number one commandment or the number one arrangement of order is the almighty confirming that I am the only one. I am the first one. I am the last one. And that I am the all because all is one and one is all. Hmm. The number two means, again, let, let me remind you of one. It's what number two means. The number two means, again, let me remind you of one. The number two can appear as if there is a difference between two, yet the two are the same difference of being exactly one. I'm gonna say it again. The number two, the reputation of the number two means, again, let me remind you of one. The number two can appear as if there is a difference between two, yet the two are the same difference of being exactly one. For example, male and female, is there a difference between the two of them or is both male and female the same difference of being exactly one? See that? I'm gonna give it the example again. Male and female are two, right? So male and female, is there a difference between the two of them 
or is both male and female the same difference of being exactly one? We will not uh, we will not debate about that question, but judge within yourself and let your own mind wrestle with that question. Today we are addressing commandments number three and commandments number and commandment number four. What is the wisdom and reputation of the number three? Remember the question about male and female. The question was, is there a difference between the two of them or is both male and female the same difference of being exactly one? Well, to understand the wisdom and reputation of the number three, here is the question that almighty power is putting within our minds to understand the number three. What is produced from male and female making love together? That's the question. What is produced from male and female making love together? The answer is children. So children are a witness that the union of male and female is that they are what? All right, I'm gonna say it again. So children are a witness, they are a witness that the union of male and female is that they are one. So the number three is the witnessing of one. Write that down. The third, the, the number three is the witnessing of one. That's the reputation of three, according to your power, the head of all existence. The number three is the witnessing of one. Write that down. Let's show within scripture how the number three is the witness of the one. We're going to first John five and seven, my elder. Yes, sir. <clears throat> First John chapter five, verse number seven. For there are three that bear record in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Spirit. And these three are one. And these three are one. You see how it says, for there are three that bear record. It's saying that these three bear witness in heaven from the beginning. So that's a witness. So it said the Father, the source of life, the Word, which is the plan of life, in the pure breath, which is the bond of life. These three are one. They are one witness. See that? These three are one. Again, let's go now to Matthew 17, 1 to 5. This is the Father attentively putting into our hearts to hear and obey, the understanding that when it comes to the number three, we understand that three is the witnessing of one before we get to the third commandment. All right? Matthew 17, 1 to, 1 to 5, my elder. Yes, sir. Uh, St. Matthew chapter 17, verse 1. And after six days, our salvation taketh Peter, James, and John, his brother, and bringeth them up into an high mountain apart, and was transfigured before them, and his face did shine as the sun, and his raiment was white as the light. Verse 3. And behold, there appeared unto them Moses and Elijah talking with them. Verse 4. Then answered Peter and said unto our salvation, Lord, it is good for us to be here. If thou wilt, let us make here three tabernacles, one for thee and one for Moses and one for Elijah. Verse 5, while he yet spake, behold, a bright cloud overshadowed them. And behold, a voice out of the cloud which said, this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. Hear ye him. Hear Obey ye him, right? Listen attentively to he, him, right? Because he's the one witness of those three. It says, if thou wilt, in verse four, let us make here three tabernacles. One, he said, Peter said, one for thee, one for Moses, and one for Elias. But guess what? This is the witness of those three, so hear ye him. So three is the witnessing of one. The anointed savior or salvation is the law and the prophets. So if someone tell you we ain't got to keep the law, they not a, they not operating as a true witness of, of, of one. They, this is a lie. See? So when it comes to salvation, he's not saying hear ye him and don't hear the law and prophets. It's saying that he's the one true witness of the of the of of um of the law and the prophets. These three. That that's a testimony right there. That if someone tell you uh, uh, not to hear they, the law, they also telling you don't hear not to hear the true witness, which is the Savior. 
Don't listen to the Savior. Listen to me, what we believe. See? So this is letting you know that when it comes to the number three, three is the witnessing of one. Okay? Let's get one more. We're going to get Matthew 18 and 20. Yes, sir. St. Matthew chapter 18, verse 20. For where two or three are gathered together in my name, there am I in the midst of them. All right. For where two or three are gathered together in my reputation, there am I, or there exist I in the midst of them. See, three is the witnessing of one. The anointed one is making it clear that two or three gather in the reputation of salvation will always witness to one existence. All right. Two or three gathered in the reputation of salvation will always witness to one existence. We all are the head of all existence, the witnessing of one life. We are one existence. So let's go to the commandment number three, which is the third arrangement of order. First, we will read it as it is written in the King James Version. Then the Almighty will give us the true wisdom from him of how it must be understood from our powers. So Exodus 20 and 7, my elder, and then first read it as you see it. Then I'm going to give y'all, the well, the Father's going to give us the wisdom on how it was understood originally from the heavens. Yes, All sir. right. Exodus chapter 20, verse number seven. Thou shalt not take the name of the head of all existence, thy power, in vain. For the Most High will not hold him guiltless that take his name in vain. All right. That's how it's written. Uh, my elder put head of all of existence for people that may feel triggered. If you listen, it does say Lord thy God. We can see that with our eyes. Mm -hmm. Many people see it with their eyes, but they still operate in vanity. Mm -hmm. Huh? So we got to have the proper understanding so that we should not be operating in vanity if we truly coming in the reputation of the Almighty. Why? Because this is the understanding here. Now let's hear the wisdom from the head of all existence concerning how that commandment is understood from our power. Everyone breathe. All right. Not how you read it, but from the it say faith, faith come by hearing, not by sight. So we're going to trust Then We're going to have to obey. We're going to have to allow the father to give us this understanding. Can't go based on what you see, right? So everyone breathe, right? And we're going to understand this. All right, y'all ready? You all who are exactly and completely me, you cannot, you cannot take the reputation of the head of all existence, your power in vain. Neither can the forces of vanity take you away from my reputation. The almighty also holds other vessels under judgment, allowing them to be taken away in their minds from understanding my reputation by my forces of vanity deceiving them. Sound completely different, right? I'm going to say it one more time. You all who are exactly and completely me, you cannot take the reputation of the head of all existence, your power in vain, neither can the forces of vanity take you away from my reputation. The Almighty also holds other vessels under judgment, allowing them to be taken away in their minds from understanding my reputation by my forces of vanity, deceiving them. So even these people can't, they're just being deceived to think that you can take the Almighty's reputation in vain. You can't. Even his vanity has purpose. <laughs> The vanity of the Almighty still has meaning and purpose. All right. So to all who can hear and understand as the Almighty is the meaning and purpose of life, because the Almighty is everything and beyond, the Almighty gives all of you that exact same honor. This is what that is saying. Again, so to all who can hear and understand as the Almighty is the meaning, is the meaning and purpose of life. Because the Almighty is everything and beyond, the Almighty gives all of you that exact same honor. You all being married to the head of all existence as one means that you all will be used to produce the meaning and purpose of life in everything you say and do. 
everything that you everything that you and the father produce together in word and deed all your fruits will be a witness that with you and the father working together as one everyone will witness through you that all of existence is one because my father have chosen all of you who can hear all right the anointed one the only true master when he walked the earth everything that he said and did that was produced from him was a witnessing of one that's why the anointed one said me and my father are the witnessing of one the father does not produce vanity and the anointed one did not produce vanity they both are the meaning and purpose of of eternal life being one together all right let's go to john 8 17 to 19. and, and elder, again and elder, yeah. if we make you see uh if you can read that uh, one more time, uh, because we had a brother uh, say it just one more time, please. And, and, and we gonna, we are we are they who shall honor that that word, brother, because it's it's likened unto our bread. Uh, so you know, a brother asks if you can 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 repeat that one more time. You see, uh, uh, for 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 not just him, but for all that, that can hear. If you can repeat uh, uh, verse, uh, what was seven. it? Verse, verse seven. seven. Yes, my elder. Uh, how the father gave the wisdom. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, my elder. You all who are exactly and completely me, you can not take the reputation of the head of all existence, your power in vain. Neither can the forces of vanity take you away from my reputation. The Almighty also holds other holds other vessels under judgment, allowing them to be taken away in their minds from understanding my reputation by my forces of vanity deceiving them. And, and you know, Elder, bless you for that because you know, for those that the Father has has also allowed to labor, labor with with us in this walk, you know. You know, we have been able to what breathe. You know, every Sabbath that you can only get what you are. Uh, As Elder said, the Father's vanity has purpose, just to show you that when you agree with it, that's who you are. So it's a deception thinking that you're going against the Father. The Father's vanity is working for Him to show you the judgment of who you are. See, because a vain person runs after what? Vain God. things. God. See? So that's why the father, by law, understands that when you perform my reputation, it doesn't matter if something vain comes, you're going to know that's not who you are. See? If, if, if I'm not a curse, why am I cursing? Thank you, sir. See? Doesn't matter if someone's trying to do evil, evil to me. <laughs> the father said, come in my reputation, and it'll be like putting hot coals on their forehead. See? I just wanted to bring that out, my elder. Yes, sir, my elder. So um, in complete understanding to give forth like uh something people can meditate on when it came to Moses. The father delivered Moses and the Israelites out according to salvation, giving them freedom away from Egypt. So he controlled, he, he controlled one aspect of bringing them out of Egypt by his hand. But then he kept Pharaoh in vanity. Pharaoh thought that he had some type of power, but he didn't. So the almighty kept him in the judgment of his vain imaginations being deceived by lesser powers. This is how this is understood, y'all. So the way that they translated it uh, were, were by the forces of darkness, making you think that you have a choice to just be vain so that they can they can deceive you. That's why people are vain in everything they say and do, because uh, how they translated that commandment. So in, in perfect understanding, you cannot take the reputation of the almighty's name or his, his reputation in vain because the father is the very existence and purpose of everything. To think that you to think that you can take his name in vain, like I could take his name in vain, you deceive. Some deceiving you to even to even try to fight against 
uh, uh, what's being said is like, oh, you van- you you operate in vanity, but you still are purposeful. <laughs> you see, so if you was to say, I can take his name in vain, if you try to prove that, then you're just going to expose yourself. That's why I say I will not hold him guiltless. That person is in, in bondage under judgment for, for whatever they serve. And bless you for that, Elder. If I, if I may just real quickly, this is why we have to understand the father's name, his reputation, the head of all existence, to know that now whatever excuse that was given unto you or, you know, the Lord knows my heart, whatever your heart was trying to tell you that when I think of the father, I only think of good. You see, you must understand that he's the head of all existence. Does darkness exist? <laughs> you see? When you understand that darkness exists, well, he's the head of it. See? Same way we understand that light exists. He's the head of it. So when both operations come to you in your life, understand it's the Father's. Kind. See? It, it, even, even, if, even if it's in what you would call a shortcoming, a sin, that, that one may be subjected, you know, subjecting themselves to. It's still the father showing you what you deal with. See? So even if you are fallen and you're like, man, I gotta get this situation right. I gotta, I gotta get right. The father, the father is not only just telling you that you have work to do, but he's also proving be, because of your attachment to what you really love. So whether a brother or sister is confessing it or not, your reputation, even in secret is a testimony against you. See, that's why he, that's why the father can boldly say, I won't hold him guiltless because your, your reputation is showing everything to the father. See, it's showing what you truly love. Okay, go ahead, my own. Yes, sir. So if people are attacking you and persecuting you, that's the father. You would think that it's the people. That's your vain imagination. The father is all of existence. So the people that's coming at you, it won't register like that it's the father doing it. You would think like, why is this happening to me? Well, you gotta, you gotta examine yourself and, and ask yourself, who is it not happening to? Hmm. You, don't, you think you're the only one being attacked? <laughs> the whole earth is under an attack. So we have to understand, there's no need to take things personal when you understand that the head of all of existence is all of existence. Even those who come at you in darkness, that's that's the father coming at you. Pro- All right. Pro- yeah, proving what side you stand on. See? So the father has to prove you so that you can boldly. This is why you're not gonna have to plead a case. He he's gonna say, I, I knew you was my child because when I allowed the attacks to, to come, you was guess what? The wicked flee when no man pursue it, but the righteous are as bold as a lion. See, so the father has to prove as as any master teacher will prove what it is you've been studying, what it is that you truly know. You know, if the test doesn't come, you know, what evidence do we have that that you've been learning? See, he that has an ear, let him hear. Go ahead, my elder. Yes. So so to all who can hear and understand. As the Almighty is the meaning and purpose of life, because the Almighty is everything and beyond, the Almighty gives all of you that exact same honor. You all being married to the head of all existence as one means that you all will be used to produce the meaning and purpose of life in everything you say and do. Everything that you and the Father produce together in word and deed all your fruits will be a witness that with you and the father working together as one, everyone will witness through you that all of existence is one because my father have chosen all of you who can hear. The anointed one, the only true master, when he walked the earth, everything that he said and did that was produced from him was a witnessing of one. That's why the anointing was said, me and my father are the witnessing of one. The father does not produce vanity and the anointing one did not produce vanity. They both are the meaning and purpose of eternal life being one together. Let's go to John 8, 17 to 19. Yes, sir. The book of John chapter 8, verse 17. It is also written in your law 
that the testimony of two men is true. I am one that bear witness of myself and the father that sent me bear witness of me. Then said they unto him, where is thy father? Our salvation answered, ye neither know me nor my father. If ye had known me, ye should have known my father also. Now you see right here how they in complete vanity of <laughs> operating in dark, talking about where is your father, as if there's more than one father, as if there's more, more than one source of life. There is only one source of life, and these people in total darkness and vanity to the man, talking about where is your father at? <laughs> Can't understand what he's saying, but you see that when the anointing one is speaking, everything that he's saying is, is, is being produced, that everything that he says is the purpose of one, that he's the witnessing of one power. That's, that's how he speaks. This is what the Father is giving y'all the power to operate in, the exact same power as our master, so that you understand that no matter what you say and no matter what you do, it's always going to be the witnessing of one power where you cannot take the reputation, your power, your Father in vain. So the Father is sealing y'all. You cannot take his reputation in vain. One more scripture. Let's get Isaiah 45, 18 to 19. Book of Isaiah, chapter 45, verse 18. For thus said the Most High, the head of all existence, that created the heavens, the head of all existence himself, that formed the earth and made it. He had established it, he created it, not in vain. He formed it to be inhabited. I am the Most High, thy power, and there is none else. I have not spoken in secret in a dark place of the earth. I said not unto the seed of Jacob, seek ye me in vain. I, the most high, the head of all existence, speak righteousness. I declare things that are right. I declare things that are right. All right. So everything of light and darkness is the purpose of me. So we have to understand we say I, when it say I am the head of all of existence and there is none else because all existence is me. So if you say this is a waste of time, then that's the experience of who, what you're one with. Everything is purposeful and meaningful because it's all the existence of the father. If you trust it, <laughs> if you obey the father, you're like, there's no way that anything could be vain in the father because everything is the father. So he says, um, I have not spoken in secret in a dark place of the earth. Why? Because the father speaks to all of his creation. All of existence is saying I exist. It's all telling you I exist, but you can't hear it. You, like, I never heard a tree say I exist. Listen again. You don't hear the you don't hear the Father speaking through everything. Everything is the head of all existence. Everything is existence of the one true power. So it says, I said not unto the seed of Jacob, seek ye me in vain. I I didn't tell you that. So what are you following? What are you following that has you operating in deception? of vanity, not knowing that I'm the existence of everything. See that? I, the almighty, speak righteousness. I, I declare things that are right. So everything of existence is the meaning and purpose of eternal life. And so are all of you. You cannot take the reputation of the head of all of existence, your power in vain, because you are the very meaning and purpose of everything that exists. Without you, there would be no existence because you are the only existence that is. Mm. Woo. This is what the father tell you. Without you, there would be no existence because you are the only existence that is. All right. We're going to get commandment number four, the fourth commandment now. All right. We're going to the fourth commandment. What is the wisdom and reputation of the number four all right what is the wisdom and reputation of the number four question what does the father show you in creation that has four attachments connected to how its body was created or what in your house has four parts to it when you look at animals you see that many have four legs like a dog or cat also in my house my table has four legs. My refrigerator has four corners. 
and so does my bed. With that understanding, what is the wisdom and reputation that comes to mind with the number four? All right, write this down. Number four is understood as completeness of stability and balance. All right, number four is understood as completeness of stability and balance. Let's get one example in scripture first. My bad, Elder. We're going to Acts 10, 9 to 12. Acts 10, 9 to 12. Remember, write that down to number four, which is we, we're going into the fourth commandment. It's completeness of stability and balance. All right. We're going to go to Acts 10, 9 to 12 to get understanding of that wisdom. Yes, as sir. the Father guides us. All right. Yes, sir. Acts, Acts chapter 10, verse 9. On the morrow, as they went on their journey and drew nigh unto the city, Peter went up upon the housetop to pray about the sixth hour. And he became very hungry and would have eaten. But while they made ready, he fell into a trance and saw heaven open and a certain vessel descending unto him, as it had been a great sheet, sheet knit at the four corners and led down to the earth. Wherein were all manner of four-footed beasts of the earth, and wild beasts, and creeping things, and fowls of the air. All right. So at this exact time, Peter received the vision of a great sheet that has four corners. Notice also that verse 12 first highlights that there was all manner of four-footed beasts of the earth seen in the vision. At this time, Peter was understanding that the Almighty was going to have him walking, being stable and balanced among the Gentiles in the completeness of salvation. Because according to Peter's understanding of the law, until this vision, Peter would have thought that he could not walk amongst Gentiles and would be uncomfortable and unstable dealing with them according to his level of understanding of the law. However, at this time, the Almighty was preparing his mind to get prepared to walk balanced among them to walk in the completeness of salvation. Salvation is incomplete if it is only subject to Israel. Anyone teaching that salvation is only for Israel will be unstable and emotionally unbalanced. All right. Now let's get the fourth commandment. The fourth arrangement of order. And then, uh, my elder, we're going to read it as it is, uh, Exodus 28 to 11. Yes, sir. The book of Exodus chapter 20, verse number eight. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days shall thou labor and do all thy work. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord, the head of all existence. In it, thou shalt not do any work, thou, nor thy son, nor thy daughter, thy maidservant, nor thy, ma thy manservant, nor thy maidservant, nor thy cattle, nor thy stranger that is within thy gates. For in six days the Most High made heaven and earth, the sea, and all that in them is, and rested the seventh day. Wherefore, the Most High blessed the Sabbath day and hallowed it. All right, now, so that's how you see it uh, when you read it, okay? Now, this is the wisdom from the head of all existence, so that you all may understand the importance of keeping the Sabbath and the feast days at their exact and appointed time, right? So that you stay balanced in understanding, right? So. Even when you're dealing with time, you see how the world is not, it's not balanced. People are all emotional. It's just like if you're not on time at your job, you're rushing and everything. You know how you're late for work or something like that? You're not on time, so you start rushing. This is how the world is operated because they're not on time with the Almighty. When you're on time with the Almighty, you're not, you, you're not unbalanced. You're working, you're working together with the one that fashioned time because you and the Almighty are one. So this is why it's important. This is how that verse must be understood. Y'all ready? Time to breathe again. All right. This is how that verse must be understood. This commandment. You all are the recalling 
and remembrance of the Sabbath day. All right. You all are the recalling and remembrance of. Be quiet over here. Right. You all are the recalling and remembrance of the Sabbath day. You all are my Sabbath day and are guarded as set apart by my name. All right. I'm going to say it again for y'all. You all are the recalling and remembrance of the Sabbath day. You all are my Sabbath day and are guarded as set apart by my name. Six days may you use your flesh to labor and do all your work. However, at the exact time concerning the seventh day, it is the Sabbath of the head of all existence, your power. Within that day, you must not do any self-serving work. You nor your seed, nor any of your servants, nor your cattle, nor your stranger that is within your gates. Understand that within six days, the head of all of existence fashioned heaven and earth, the sea and all that is in them that exist and all of creation is the working of me, working my creation. And after the sixth day, your power rested the seventh day. This is why the almighty highly favors the Sabbath day and hallowed it because you are my Sabbath day. And I have hallowed all of you to be one in my reputation. Now, I need to say it one more time, Elder, all the way through or keep going. I'm going to say it one more time. All right. Yeah. I, I could I can understand one more time is what it needed to be. <laughs> oh, pray. No, we he he breathed, Elden, but we was he didn't know we was muted. <laughs> so yeah. Yeah, bless you. As the father wills it. Go ahead, my elder. Yes, sir. You all are the recalling and remembrance of the Sabbath day. You all are my Sabbath day and are guarded as set apart by my name. Six days may you use your flesh to labor and do all your work. However, at the exact time concerning the seventh day, it is the Sabbath of the head of all existence, your power. Within that day, you must not do any self-serving work. You nor your seed, neither any of your servants, nor your cattle, nor your stranger that is within your gates. Understand that within six days, the head of all existence fashioned from his own existence, heaven and earth, the sea and all that is in them that exist and all of creation is the working of me, working my creation. And after the sixth day, your power rested the seventh day. This is why the almighty highly favors the Sabbath day and hallowed it because you are my Sabbath day and I have hallowed all of you to be one in my reputation. Mm -hmm. Now, you got some, Elder? Uh, now, you know, as I'm as I'm hearing you, Elder, you know, and 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 when we talk about the the days and the workings of them, you know, we understand the operation of day from what sundown. You see, sundown to what sundown, right? So Friday sundown. Saturday sundown, we know that what? That's the Sabbath, that's the seventh day. Evening came, morning followed, you see? So the father, you know, as I'm hearing you, you know, I, you know, the, 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 the father is, is breathing to me is, is that when we understand, you know, how the father fashioned the heavens and the earth, the, the creation, we'll understand the necessity of what? why darkness is necessary. See? See? The, the, the darkness is the darkness is necessary coming coming from that womb. See? Into the fullness of the Father's wisdom and light in this habitation just for a moment in time to rest again. See? So even in the operation from evening or, or, or Friday sundown, Sunday sundown, uh, I'm sorry, Friday sundown, Saturday sundown, darkness to darkness. In the middle is the light, brothers and sisters. We, we are in that time to where is what? That light of understanding should be shining and should be our operation, you see, daily. We are in a time to where we come back into the remembrance that we are that Sabbath. 
See, before that next darkness comes. See? This is why we started off saying, you know, everyone wants to celebrate, but why were you created? Why were you fashioned in, you know, in, in, in darkness to come and perform and to show forth? See, in the light, in the reputation for all to see, brothers and sisters. This is what gives a man, a woman purpose in life. <laughs> Your purpose is going to come to know that when, the, when you came into this habitation, you were salvation for the Father's creation. See, so in that, if it be in the Father's will that he, Father's will that 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 what He allows darkness or that time of rest, which which we understand it as a form of debt to come upon uh, to to come upon you know any one of us brothers and sisters, we can stand boldly and, and understand that what our living wasn't in vain. See, you did everything that you were created to do while the Father gave you life. See, because in a time of darkness, in debt, brothers and sisters, as the scripture say, th there is no, no ability to repent. Uh, <laughs> see, what, what, once the Father requires your soul, there is no possibility a, or any chance of repentance. See it as an ear, let him hear. Just wanted to bring that, wanted to bring that out, my elder, being, being that savage. Go ahead. Yes, my elder. This is why scripture says this. Let's go to Psalms 46 and 10. The book of Psalms chapter 46, verse number two. <clears throat> be still and know that I am the head of all existence. I will be exalted among the heathen. I will be exalted in the earth. Understand, be still. See, the Sabbath day is a, a day to rest or cease from your work. It also means to cease. So the Father saying, be still and know, which means to connect to understand that I am the one true power. So that's what the Father has you connecting with all of creation of this day. I will be exalted among the heathen because the heathen serve lesser powers. They don't serve the power that's vibrating through all of creation, and that is. They, they know they're lesser powers. So by us keeping the Sabbath day, we connect to the understanding that we're the very heaven and earth and the power that fashion it. That, that's our power. See what I'm saying? <laughs> so understand that he says, I will be exalted among the heathen, and I will be exalted in the earth. How? Through you. Mm. See? So the Sabbath means to seize and rest. And the term day means joy. We work six days, keeping us bound to using our flesh to do labor. This causes us to become weary and un unbalanced. So the, so the exact time of the Sabbath day means to seize and rest and, and exist as, as joy. I'm going to say that again. Uh, we work six days, keeping us bound to using our flesh to do labor. This causes us to become weary and unbalanced. So the exact time of the seventh day means to seize and rest, and it means to exist as joy. When you be still and do nothing using your fleshly body, the Almighty will reveal to you that you are the joy of him operating all of existence. And all of existence is you. Mm -hmm. The father, the source of life on the Sabbath day, which is today, sends us wisdom to restore us to understand that we are not this flesh, but we are the very creator that made the heaven and earth, working all things under control with our power as one. Mm -hmm. On the Sabbath day, you all make the wind blow. You make the sun shine. You make the seas move in every motion that they go, and you are the very creation that you cause to move when you be still and rest. All of existence is you because you and the Almighty are one. More wisdom on how the number four is connected 
to the understanding of time and stability, meaning that we must understand time exactly from the Father to be stable. Let's go to Isaiah 33 and 6. Yes, sir. The book of Isaiah, chapter 33, verse 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. And strength of salvation, the fear of the head of all existence, is his treasure. Uh-oh. Listen, y'all. And wisdom and knowledge must be the stability of your times. See? Uh, that means that time, your time. You know, I see people say, hey, can I have a, uh, can I have a minute of your time? Y'all don't really hear how they talk to you, right? Your time is yours. It belongs to you. You're the very master over time with the anointing. See? So when you understand this, the Father gives you wisdom on how to operate in all your time. See? If you understand keeping the Sabbath, you will understand this. That's why it says what? And strength of salvation. See? Strength of salvation is the victory that we are one with the Almighty. We can't, we, we, we are not just, we're not just subjected to time. We won with the very power that fashion time itself and everything within it. See? So the fear, the reverencing of the head of all of existence is his treasure. <laughs> That's our treasure. You understand? We don't need to try to possess nothing or chase this and got to work for anything. We possess all things and we are the possession of all things that we possess. Mm. All right? So when a man is righteous at heart, and keeps the Sabbath, this man or woman is highly favored and is given wisdom and knowledge being stable at all times. You will rarely see these people emotionally unbalanced because the Almighty always comforts them in understanding, keeping them stable. Last scripture for today, uh, we are within wisdom of the fourth commandment, and the number four is understood as stability and balance of completeness. The fourth commandment is addressing time and keeping the Sabbath. Being one within the Father's time keeps us stable to understanding that we are time itself. And we are all things created within time because we are completely one in reputation of who the one true eternal power is. And we are that power which is eternal. So we are time and we are inside and out of time being one with our power. Let's go to Genesis 1, 14 to 19. Yes, sir. Genesis chapter one, verse 14. And the head of all existence said, let there be lights in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the night and let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and years. And let them be for light. Sorry. And let them be for light in the firmament of the heaven to give light upon the earth. And it was so. And the head of all existence made two great lights, the greater light to rule the day and the lesser light to rule the night. He made the stars also. And the head of all existence set them in the firmament of the heaven to give light upon the earth and to rule over the day and over the night and to divide the light from the darkness. And the head of all existence saw that it was good. And the evening and the morning were the fourth day. And the evening and the morning was the what day? And the evening and the morning were the fourth day. It was the fourth day. Pay attention. See how he, he constructed everything according to time, the great lights to be a minister of time. This is understanding of the fourth day, confirming that the fourth commandment, keep my Sabbath, is the completeness of what? Being stable in the understanding of the power that fashioned time. All right. So in that understanding, understand. So to all who can hear, to all who can hear, also to you who cannot hear, but to all who can hear chiefly. You are the existence of those two great lights. You are the existence in the sun and in the moon. You are the signs. You are the seasons, the days, and you are the years. You are the existence within the light and the existence within the darkness. 
You are the witnesses of the one true power. You are time and the, and the stability of all things within order of time of the almighty, your power. You are the third and fourth commandments and the 10 commandments are you. Shalom. Bless you, my elder. Bless you. You know, as you was, as, as, uh, as Elder Amaniel was, was, was reading that, you know, I, I'm, I'm sitting here and I'm like, why, if we, if we breathe, you know, cause it's something that the father allowed, allowed you to breathe out Elder to say that, that you are everything that, that we are everything that passes over, over the, over, over the waters. You are, you are, you are, you are everything that, 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 that moves within the trees. And most people will hear that and, and, and would, would think that this is, a, as we always say, a new doctrine. But, but all you have to, you know, all you would have to do is tell a brother or sister, hey, put a piece of paper in front of you and blow it. What is that force? Does not that same force move the trees? Mm -hmm. It's not that same force inside and outside of you. So when we understand that we are, we are the existence within what we would call, you know, the body or the human body. See, this is why we say it before, you are not human. If to believe that you are human, you are believing that you are a monster. There's no good thing in this. See, you are the breath or the existence inside of it. This is why in death, when it leaves you, this is what quantifies that you are dead. See, because who's truly who you truly are leaves from you. It's it's what gives the motion. See, so so we we have to ask ourselves, brothers and sisters, what are we now putting out? We we are not they who are sent to say judge outside of you. The kingdom of of heaven is within. Everything you need to know is inside of you. Uh, understand your reputation and then that reputation will be reflected outside of you. Hey, people start to, you know, why when I operate in the righteousness, you see, doing things as, as, as the scripture says, what in decency and in order, why am I being attacked? Because it has to show you what's good. See that there's no need for darkness to, to, to deal with darkness. See what, what, what benefit is the light in the light? See, so we all must be the testimony. You see, the, 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 the word and what you're going to find out, salvation is, 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 is the title, is, is the root, brothers and sisters. Our Lord and Savior, salvation is to root, is the root with many branches of goodly fruit. See, because underneath salvation is love. The perfection of it. Underneath salvation is honor in the perfection of it. See? Because see, when you when you understand honor, brothers and sisters, that, that doesn't, that's not subjected to a respect of person. See? You can even honor your enemy knowing that an enemy can only do what an enemy does. Mm. <laughs> see? So we are they, we are ministers to tell you that if you're still fighting with your enemy. You are missing why the whole understanding of existence. See? Can you not see yourself even in your enemy? See? You must understand that you too was an enemy. That the father had to show forth what? In that reputation, what is good. So we see ourselves in the dark and the light. As it says, what? Let's pull it up for him, Elder. Yes, sir. Isaiah, the seventh chapter. We go, we go back. Remember, we are in a time of remembrance. We won't leave from this time frame on, uh, from this time frame on, brothers and sisters. You see, we, we are putting you in a constant state of remembrance. Because darkness is, is going to start to swell in the earth, brothers and sisters, and start to compass men, you know, quicker than, than anyone can even observe. So most people, if they're trying to pre prepare, darkness has been there since the beginning. 
evil has been there since the beginning, brothers and sisters. So, so, so if we're not keeping what? This wisdom, this understanding, we will become unstable, all right? We, we're telling you that without a constant state of reflection, a constant state of remembrance, you're gonna become unstable, brothers and sisters, all right? Isaiah the seventh chapter, and get that for me around the uh uh where it says uh I shall is Isaiah seven? Yes, sir. Uh where it says he butter and honey. Go mm -hmm. ahead. Mm -hmm. Isaiah chapter seven, verse number uh verse number twelve. But uh, but Ahaz said, I will not ask, neither will I tempt the head of all existence. And he said, Hear ye now, O house of David, it is a small thing for you to weary men. But were ye weary, the head of all existence also? Come on. Therefore, the Most High himself shall give you a sign. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and shall call his name Emmanuel. Butter and honey shall he eat, that he may know to refuse the evil and choose the good. This is why you must see yourself as, the Lord, as our Lord and Savior being prophesied in this hour. See? As he is being prophesied about, about, you must see yourself also being what? One who speaks in, in what? As the scripture says, gracefully unto the hearer. You speak with butter and honey. You see? Why? Because that's what our master, our chief, see? His reputation. So to be one with him, you, you or to say we truly follow that reputation, you know, do we not become it? See, do we not eat that same butter and that same honey? Honey, this is why our Lord and Savior, when he was sitting at the table with the disciples, he said, eat of this bread, eat of my bread. See, I, I, this right here, this, this is dairy free. All right. <laughs> my bread ain't going to get you sick. Even if you think that you can eat this. Most people have trained them, and, and, and listen to me, brothers and sisters, all of this understanding you're going to find is but one. Most people have trained themselves to love evil and call it good. When, when we are telling you, even dairy, no one should be able to eat that. Nothing, nothing, nothing holy should be able to eat it. Nothing set apart should be able to eat what you would call dairy, milk, and don't have some type of reaction from it. See? Butter and honey. See? Shall he eat? Go ahead. Butter and honey shall he eat, that he may know to refuse the evil and choose the good. To know to refuse the evil and choose the good, meaning that you have to see yourself in the darkness. See, I have to see myself in the darkness to know that when I used to operate like that, no good thing came to me. I, 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 I stayed in, in confusion. I stayed, what, being tossed to and fro. See, how can you refuse something you know nothing about? This is why you don't judge your enemy. You don't judge evil when it comes to you because what, brothers and sisters, what other evil do we need to learn? See, we are already in perfect understanding of the Father, masters of evil. There is no other evil you need to, you know, learn about. We are now, you know, learning how to what, or being brought back into re remembrance that everything that we was doing in evil was never who we were. So we must refuse that and do what? That he may know to refuse the evil and choose the good. We must choose what is good. See? What is good? Right? Get that for me. For the, for the law is good, able to convert the soul. What is that? Psalms of 119. Check this out. Okay? Because this is what we have to get back to the understanding of what is good. All right? That Psalms are uh, uh, 19. 19. One moment here. My elder is finding this because we, we got to look at this. Maybe. 
is 119. Let me see. Yeah. Uh, 19. Yeah. Yeah, go, go ahead. 1987. Go ahead. Let's find let's let's let 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 let's let's find out what's what 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 what's good. Yeah. Nineteen, uh, Psalm chapter nineteen, verse number seven. The law of the head of all existence is perfect, converting the soul. The testimony of the Most High is sure, making wise the simple. Wait, read that one more time. Yes, sir. The law of the head of all existence is perfect. This is what's good, brothers and sisters. This is what's perfect. See, and many of us are trying to figure out why we can't change, why our souls. You see how we are not able to refuse the darkness. Even listen to me, You're, the darkness will never go away, right? We're keeping you in remembrance. Darkness, you, which which is which is demons, evil spirits, they never go away. You just learn to do what? Live above them. See, your enemy becomes your footstool. See, your brother, your sister. It is not your enemy. You wrestle not with flesh and blood, brothers and sisters. So when the scripture says your enemy shall become your footstool, the father is going to give you the power over darkness, demons, evil spirits. That's what you're going to stand on. See? So when somebody is attacking you, you can stand in righteousness because those demons that are underneath your foot is what the father is going to use to keep them in a delusion. See? It's like it's like them. It's like as they talk about you, you know, as they're running their mouth, they don't see that pole that they're about to walk into. And we are saying this, brothers and sisters, to say, listen. Once you get to the understanding and and and, and the pathway, you see, and the door of Christ, you will find out. That this is where all rest is, brothers and sisters. You will find out that you you are the Sabbath. You you are the what the holy days, which are also Sabbaths. See, you will start to find out that everything that we are supposed to be observing is who you are. It's what the 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 Father has fashioned fashioned all of us to be rest. This is why we must understand reputation. The Sabbath means what? Day of rest. You must what? Be the rest for all of the Father's creation. You must be that Passover lamb also. This is how, when you, when you come into this understanding in your reputation, you'll stop being offended when people are accusing you. Did they not, did they not accuse our Lord and Savior? See? You'll be the feast of Purim, the gift that keeps on giving. See, this is who you are, brothers and sisters. See? Live in your existence because existence is who we are. And we are who we are. Repent, be baptized, sin no more, brothers and sisters. All right. We're going to open up the floor for questions. All right, and answers if that if there are any questions a brother or sister may have, you can just uh, unmute your phone or unmute your laptop, and you can uh, go on ahead and and uh, ask those questions. And if if there is no questions and and we are learning, let's go ahead and put a. Put a thumbs up, but check the YouTube also. If there, if there isn't any questions. Right. There's, there's no such thing as a crazy question, okay? Don't don't let no darkness deceive you and think that what you what you may be asking is a crazy question. 
All right. Don't let don't let any darkness deceive you, brothers and sisters. All right, we gonna get through this thing together. It, it, it'll be better for you to ask the question. You see, and, and most people may not even understand. You know, you might not until you're more you're more on it than what you can even imagine. Okay, where you? Okay. Yeah. Okay. If we if we are learning, let's go ahead and throw a thumbs up while while the Father is giving us breath. This is just. Hey, Here you go. All right, we breathing. She stabbed her back there. <laughs> what do y'all do that, huh? <laughs> oh, it's all good. Mm -hmm. Bless you. Yeah. Come on. All right, how you doing that, my elder? Okay, bless you. Hey, hey, now. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, you see, you see, you see, you see, all right, yeah. bless you. All right, we don't have no questions. We love you all, and we thank the Father for you all. We're gonna get through this thing together, brothers and sisters. You're not as off as you think, okay? Repent, be baptized, sin no more. Understand that you are the commandments, the law, the statutes, and the commandments are the head of all, all, of, all of existence. And all of existence is you. All right. Shabbat Shalom. Thank you, my elder. Shabbat Shalom, elder. Shabbat Shalom, family. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. This is Frederica. Bless you, sister. And thank you all for your first time, you know, brother or sisters, who, who it may be your first time. Okay. You can also go on YouTube. I would, uh, YouTube, we are who we are. 144 at, at, at uh on YouTube, we are who we are, 144. And if there's any brother and sister who wants to be baptized, okay, hey, just email us at we are who uh we are who we are 144 at gmail.com. And as we always say, what we're gonna go find someone. All right, if it be in the father's will. All right. But you can go on to the YouTube, subscribe onto the YouTube channel, or even send it to a brother or sister. But the, the playbacks will will be on, okay. The playback the playbacks will be on on YouTube, okay. We are who we are, one four four. All right. And being the Father's will, you can subscribe and and uh, while the Father is giving us this opportunity, we love you all. Shalom.